Hello and welcome to another one of my awesome replay videos. Today I'm going to be testing out a faction called the Bowie Eye. Um, Air of Carthage has been saying this is a very good faction, along with Tylus and I think the other one may have been Rome, because the focus in Rome 2 now is medium tier infantry and they seem to be doing very well. I have to say, I do agree with them. Okay, so I'm playing as the Bowie Eye, my allies the Seleucids. Uh, I'm going up against Rome and Egypt. The other thing you'll notice, the Seleucids have not very many people here. Uh, the Egypt and Rome have a lot, compared to what I have. Okay, so over here, what we're going to do, two Celtic Bowmen supporting my ally. I'm just going to put it on pause. One moment. Zoom in. Okay, so here are the Celtic Bowmen. They're nice units, I reckon. Over here, these are really good quality archers. Syrian heavy archers. I can certainly see why he bought them. Over here we have... Royal Peltus. Now these... This is a hard unit to kill in combat, but... Uh, I prefer to shoot a Royal Peltus to death. Usually by outranging him. Uh, over here... Silver Shield Pikemen, now they're good in a fight, but if the enemy has brought any missiles, he's going to be screwed. And undoubtedly, the enemy will have brought missile units. So what have we got over here? Let's just to get a good overview. So Vigils are fairly alright spear units, so let's go and take a look. wrong. No. Yeah, I mean these guys are fairly alright, fairly average. You get them at the start of a Roman campaign. Um, over here we have Egyptian pikemen, carrion axemen, which is an interesting choice because I wouldn't actually use carrion axemen of all things. I've had a few bad experiences using them in sieges. Uh, Egyptian slingers there. And levy furio spears, that's a fairly good pick. Now over here you'll notice there are two units of Egyptian uh, citizen cavalry. What you have to remember with the Egyptian faction in Rome Total War 2 is they're based on what the Egyptian army would have been like after the uh, collapse of the Macedonian Empire. Uh, so there are Greek elements in it. Now the Roman actually spanned a lot of Astardi. There's quite a few units here. We've already seen four units back there. And there's some more there. These are fairly light infantry. Um, Again, they can kill quite well, so I am fairly cautious approaching those. And we have levies over here, and the obvious Roman general. So I'm going to go ahead and quick forward into the battle. While they move forward, I'm going to give you a brief overview of what's going to happen. So let's go to tactical. So what the enemy is going to try and do is advance on two fronts, so firstly on this bridge, bringing up the archers and the slingers to fire across. Over here the Romans are going to try and push round. Uh, you may wonder at this point why this force here would be ignored. Very simple reason, they are hidden. 
Um, so we have my Axe Warriors, Celtic Warriors, and a Spear Warrior. That's just to guard the infantry. And my Noble Horse General. See the Romans sending his levies over here because they've seen the pikemen by this point, so it's fairly clear what's going to happen. And you can see Syrian heavy archers are already exchanging fire with Egyptian slingers. They'll probably whether they'll I think they'll come off better here because heavy archers against slingers is good. But slingers against normal archers who aren't armoured uh, would do well. So clearly here the Syrian heavy archers are having a good impact. That's already had so 50 there, almost half straight. This cavalry, it comes out, but uh, again, they could have gone all the way into here. Uh, but they don't do that. And again, the Roman force just swings around here. Now, if we go off tactical, the reason the Egyptian would swing around like that is purely because I'm hidden very well here. And let's see if they're still coming across, and there's a very large gap there. For me to intercept, and that is quite a lot of ground to cover. Now, if I had a cavalry army, this would actually be right, but I don't have a cavalry army, so it's going to be hard for me to cover the distance. Over here, I was already talking with my ally about what's going on, so you can see here there's levies coming across, like javelin infantry. They obviously want to get at the pikemen. Victory for God! But we're going to force them to retreat before they can go anywhere. It could also be a tactical move to try and get us to follow, but although my guys will follow in a moment, that's simply not going to happen. It's movements like this that where the enemy wastes their troops that you can actually have an advantage. And you can see on the ratio down here that it's uh, very much in the minority. So to win this battle I'm going to have to be very skillful. Uh, it's not about troop mass uh, and it's not about quality. It's simply about tactics in this case because if you just look over here, this is the biggest problem of all. Lots of sword infantry. Uh, there's two problems with this. Not only is there sword infantry, there's also the Egyptian cavalry gone. Okay, so the Egyptian cavalry appears to have disappeared for a moment. Um, but yeah, that's the main problem at the moment. So obviously the what the Roman player is very keen on doing is simply pushing up and creating almost a sandwich effect. Uh, now, unfortunately, my ally really should not have chosen uh, to have Oikman. Although it's a tactical move, the fact that he's got very high quality Oikman it's actually a mistake because we had very low budgets in this game and the host who's actually Rome using all their troops there. Not funny. Uh, yeah, but you have to wonder. I mean you have to hold back this entire force. I've had to help him. If I hadn't helped him, these slingers here could just tear into these heavy archers or the pikemen. Uh, it wouldn't really matter. Now, this is the other problem with the Romans advancing. Citizen cavalry. Two units from the Egyptian player. And they're going to basically just be there to 
hold off any charge that I might attempt. But I am going to charge my horses out now. I'm keen to engage my general. Just zoom in. See already the Roman player is diverting horses towards my cavalry. Uh, that's a good move because I can easily break them out and try to use them to slow down all these Astardi. Who even though they're going to be very tired by the time they get over here, uh, it's still going to uh, leave me with a bit of a problem. I can see the Royal Pantis moving into position. Gonna try and use his general to slow down the Roman advance. But unfortunately, the uh, Roman does have javelins. And one thing I like to do when I come up against Royal Peltists is do exactly what the Roman player is doing here. And it's simply a clever maneuver. Oh. And the cavalry into the skirmishes. Again, this was really annoying of citizen cavalry was very well done, and certainly will have got him quite a lot of kills. See my Celtic bowman trying to fight off the horseman. I believe at this exact moment, one of my key units is engaging the Romans. Zoom in here. are winning decisively, uh, and they're managing to really clobber the Astardi. Uh, Astardi are a very basic unit, uh, I think if you have enough of them you could overpower the Axe Warrior, but it would sort of be like using in Rogue One several pairs of units to overpower, say, uh, Levy Freeman, or a Spear Band or something. I'm just going to let them get a few kills. Yeah, as you can see, we're just trying to get rid of some of the units. going on. Roman's trying to get in on the pikemen and simultaneously I'm trying to relieve the pikemen by destroying the Roman infantry which is fairly it's going to be fairly easy considering the Roman infantry consists only of starting. So already there goes one unit. So I'm now going to chomp through units as well. I brought more units here. Let's see my axe warriors. Uh, the Roman player tries to take out my general. Very crafty, but I brought in axe warriors. I'm simply going to pin the Stardi in 
and take the cavalry out. At the moment, I'm going to start bringing in units. These spear warriors, they're just out there because of these some cavalry. Okay, so you can see the my cavalry is making its way out of the field. He's doing very well. Uh, yes. The problem here is that both sets of the Roman infantry and the Boyai infantry are tired. You see them wavering now here uh, because they're tired, they don't want to engage, they've lost all their momentum. So the sensible thing now would be to actually pull out the swordsmen uh, because at least then they Round and get back into the fight later on. As it happens, we've got the axemen hacking their way through, and we've got more units coming in. So you can see that my ally has Pike Unit 3. We've actually been able to, thanks to the fact that I've had my units out of the fight, we've been able to corner the yeah, Roman units in. In. I'm going to speed this up slightly so to reinforce, cut these Romans off uh, with a more highly qualified warrior unit. And then we'll see the carnage going on. And what surprised me in this fight was exactly how many kills uh, these Bowie Eye units were actually fairly amazing. I've played as the Swayne before, I've played as Icini, but what these medium tier infantry were able to do was absolutely astounding. Uh, I mean, they really did wrap up everything. Uh, I mean, even the Star did fairly well. Which is quite surprising. So you can see I'm just going to try and overwhelm the defences. Back here we have Carrion Axemen, with the Vile Javelins. We're going to engage them soon. We also have the Roman General here. So I'm just going to pull out the spikes. See my troops now running into the carried axemen who are all right, really. The problem we have is that behind all those units we have Egyptian slingers who can now open fire. Uh, the Roman general is still alive. The Egyptian general is still alive. So, just going out so we can see. Uh, pointing it there is behind the infantry. So, what we're simply going to do is remove the tired infantry, like we should have done earlier. So, that's there we can see Celtic warriors coming out of the fight. 
I'm probably going to bring both these units out because they're fairly exhausted. Um, they're still, even though there's 17 Silver Shield pikemen, uh, they can still rack up lots of kills. So my ally at this point is saying, "Then get out and fight." Uh, let me in, and I'll do the killing. So he's just going to try and form up before coming in, but this was the annoying thing with these two players, was they were able to use uh, abilities like Rally. Uh, I mean, a carry an Axeman unit, really, you can get through that. Right, really. The problem was, of course, that this unit is fresh. My units are not fresh, I'm drawing them back, just trying to find somewhere where I can get some space. Uh, the Roman player is going to run in the rest of his troops. But at this moment, uh, the battle really is 50. It's come down to literally few troops. So just gonna come out again. I'm gonna try and speed this up so we can get through most of it. So here we are trading blows. So as you see the Bowie Eye we basically retreat. Steel Shield Pikemen will rack up a fair load of kills. So they've already racked up another 40 kills, roughly. And I'll use this moment to really just bring in units and get through the Carrion Axemen, who are now completely destroyed. Roman general is going to try and come in, uh, but really he can't do anything at this point. All I have to do is put my cavalry counter tactics on, which I have done. Let's see back here. He's now going to retreat because I think everyone generally does fear cavalry counter tactics. So you see the rest of the units retreating, and he's going to get routing. So what went well here was you can see my infantry, the Axe Warriors, did very well. They were medium tier infantry. The Celtic Warriors didn't do as well, and I feel really their rush infantry. So you could rush them into the fight, but over time they do worse and worse. Uh, Celtic Bowmen did well, the Axe Warriors, uh, again, did very well, Spear Warriors, alright. General, that was a bit disappointing, um, but there were a lot of Javelins and was targeted. The Roman player did, I mean, the Hastavi, fairly average. Uh, I mean, they're light infantry, really, so they're not going to do that well. Vigils, uh, again, they're not going to do terribly well. Levies, I think generally a poor cheap army there, uh, but given the budgets that we had, it was very low. Uh, this was a fairly alright build. I think I would have just brought Levy Furio Spears. Uh, you have Javelins, and then they can do alright in combat. Pack them up with Egyptian Slingers, I'm sure you can coerce the enemy into attacking and being destroyed. Citizen Cavalry did very well, they were used very skillfully, and he was certainly very good at using them. The Carrion Axeman uh, was brought in just at the right moment, and that's why I did well. Seleucid Player, this is a build I would not recommend, and if I ever see someone using this build while I'm playing, I will have to make sure they die, frankly. Uh, two Syrian Heavy Archers, they did well, I think that was a good pick, because they're a very advantageous units to have because um, they can really destroy slingers whereas normal archers would be 
destroyed by the slingers. Uh, the Silver Shield Pikeman, that was good for blocking the bridge, but again it got fired upon a lot, so I don't think Silver Shield Pikeman in this particular battle was the best idea. I think Silver Shield Swordsman may have been a better idea. Uh, at least they would have been more robust and able to shield themselves from missile attack. The Royal Peltis didn't do well, but then it was in the face of a lot of Astardi, so I mean that's generally acceptable really. Okay, so I mean, generally we did very well there. We were lucky that uh, a lot of mistakes were made by the other player and they underestimated uh, my pick of infantry, which probably helped us the most. Um, again, the Egyptian player not really playing to the full strength of his army. But he was in a difficult position. Um, we were supposed to attack and... Uh, they did attack in the end. Uh, you can see there I rack up the most kills. Uh, it was a very good victory. So thank you for watching. I am out of here.